Welcome to Infra Circle, India's first standalone site on everything infrastructure and policy in this country. My name is Uttal Bhaskar and I have with me Anisha Datta, Infra Circle's Railways Correspondent. Anisha, you have written a story about uh, flexi fares and what the kind of uh, the storm it has created for the national carrier. Right. Uh, what are these flexi fares for Indian Railways all about? Uh, so it's a system, it's quite akin to what Ola and Uber do, right. the dynamic pricing. Mm -hmm. So they've implemented the pricing structure in premium trains such as Shatati, Donalto and Rajdhani mm -hmm. and where they're going to uh, charge the passengers 10% uh, on the base fare mm -hmm. for every 10% worth that's booked. Right. Um, with the maximum surge going to 1.5 times the base fare. Right. So this particular move created a lot of uh, angst within the system and outside and, and because of the passenger complaints, the chairman railway board actually came out and explained that this is not a permanent uh, uh, arrangement right. and this is something which is being done on a pilot route. It looks like a, uh, an exercise of damage control to me but uh, why will this not work out very well for the railways? Right. So, um, given the fact that they've been losing out on passenger revenue, I mean, they lost around 30,000 crore mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. um, they've, the segment that they've targeted here, they bring in the bulk of revenue for, uh, in the passenger segment for the railways. Mm -hmm. So, around 30% of the revenue comes from this segment alone. Right. So, obviously, uh, this won't go down well with that segment because mm -hmm. unless there is, there is something additional that's been given to them in this uh, in this particular deal, right. nobody is going to pay more for the same thing that they were getting. Right, and, then, and I remember in your coverage, you wrote about it as well, where you talk, say that the airlines are going to have a field day here. Right. Why will that so happen? Right, so um, the, uh, the airline costs are at, at really low prices right now. Um, if you compare these prices, the current prices in airlines and you compare it with the surge pricing structure which is now going to be implemented, they are virtually the same. Right. So naturally you are going to push that segment towards airlines which you are already losing out on. So I mean why would anybody, if you are getting a ticket from uh, from Delhi to Mumbai for, for around 2000 to 3000 and for the same amount you are getting a ticket, why would you choose to that? Out? Maybe uh, in a lighter way, maybe for people like me who would like to travel the, the very, uh, the bygone years of railway journey is something that some of us actually would like to remember. Yeah. One last question before I leave you for your uh, infrastructure and transportation coverage. Uh, do you think this this is kind of a decision which was taken in a hurry and will be, uh, there would be an order which will be issued the way orders are issued and this would be put back on a, put on a back burner? It, it seemed like it was a hasty decision. I mean, uh, you know, in the current uh, financial year, they've been implementing a lot of uh, a lot of reforms in this segment. You know, in, in terms of increasing their non-fair revenue and then working on upgrading passenger facilities, and you know, they've, and especially focusing on increasing the average speed of trains. Mm -hmm. So all that is being done to improve uh, improve passenger services. But this, in this particular case, I would say it, 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 it was a huge decision considering you know the, there's not much of a difference in um, passenger amenities that are provided in these trains. Right. So it just it, it seems like a hasty decision. Thank you, Anisha, for for explaining this uh, flexi fare war, which is supposed to being unleashed both on the part of the railways and the airlines. Mm -hmm. This also comes at a time when Air India came out with a very interesting scheme some time back, where Air India talked about how if you're not getting a train ticket on one of these yeah. trains, you can at the same price you can get a last moment air ticket as well. So very interesting times ahead for uh, travelers in the country. Uh, thank you Anisha for explaining this to us. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Infra Circle for everything infrastructure and policy in India.